Hi everybody, this is Dennis bringing you the full review of Money Shot Comes Again, issue number one, Vault Comics. This particular cover is the Infinity Gauntlet uh, homage slash parody. Um, this wasn't one I was going to do a full review on, but uh, last checked I had over 34,000 views, many comments, 700 and some likes, and you guys want this one reviewed. So... Who am I to argue with popular demand? So this one is, uh, again, Vault Comics, $4.99 for issue number one. My issue number two is on its way, so I should have that hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, this one is written by Tim Seeley and drawn by Giselle Legacy. And the premise is, as we go through it, um, I never, you know, disclosure, I never read the first series. So, you know, I, I'm starting to think after reading it that I probably should have. I think this would have made more sense. But it does recap it. Aliens wind up coming to this world. And uh, they offer us membership in like a galactic alliance. Think of like Starfleet, uh, things like that. Then after observing us for a little bit of time, they're kind of like, you know what? You, you guys are all messed up and totally dysfunctional, so I think we're going to go ahead and withdraw that. So they withdraw it, and yet somebody, one of the, the lead characters, she's kind of like, you know what? I think there's, there's money to be made. So she does a crowdfunding effort for interstellar travel, and um, she's able to go forward and um, successfully launch it. To go out, it's called Money Shot. <clears throat> Excuse me, hence the name of the title. And uh, she thinks a lot of people are going to pay money for humans to go out in space and have sex with these aliens and uh, view it. Then you can see even like the telepathic flashback assistance. You see what their eyes are, and you see they're suddenly uh, a glowing. Um, <clears throat> So these XXX Explorers, the Explorers, you know, um, so they particularly fund this to go, and I, I think they're right. It winds up uh, being successful. They wind up raising a lot of money and going out there and doing it. And uh, so this is kind of the sequel, you know, and the follow-up and what, what's going on with the meeting with the, uh, the other people, the, the aliens. Um, guys, this this is definitely an adult comics. Now, I know it has a lot of um, insight, like, you know, is it going to be like porn? This is kind of like, it's not rated X. You can see that most of it's fine. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, nudity and stuff in it. But it's more like, it's a comedy spoof um, of, uh, you know, a futuristic world that's rated R. It's definitely our adult uh, humor. Um, and that's kind of what it is. It's almost like a, like, like a parody. So the guys, this is, this is different. Um, this definitely does not fall. It even looks a lot like Iron Man. Uh, it's, it's, it's different. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect. Um, you can see even a reference of like cherry, uh, flashback to some of the uh, great classic, you know, almost like romance comics and stuff like that. You can even see how they how they did it. And oh, Cherry Pop Star. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and just talk a little bit about it. You can see it's a 18 plus for mature audiences. This was a interesting, different kind of comic book. Um, it's definitely nothing mainstream. Um, but I think because it's so different, that's why there may be a, a heck of a, an audience out there. The adult themes, um, it's, it's a fun comic book. So if you want this to be a serious type of book, I think you've missed the, missed the boat on it. I think it's fun. It's interesting. I kind of want to see issue number two. So I'll pop that up on a quick flip when it comes out. I'm giving this one um, probably about a 6.5 on the CGC scale. I think it's interesting. It's cool. I think it would have made more sense if I would have went and, you know, read the first one. I think the first one 
was a 15 issue series. I never got it. I might go out and find I know there's trades of it out there. I've got a convention, so maybe I can find it this weekend. And it might it might change my opinion on it. But overall, I thought it's interesting. I do want to see where number two goes. It's a fun concept. Definitely adult theme. So anyway, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Smash that like and subscribe button. Like I said, that way you can leave me comments. I want to hear what your thoughts are on, on this series. So there was a lot of excitement for it. Um, join us also for my other quick flips, uh, full reviews. We do movie and TV show reviews. Um, on Wednesdays, we do our live stream where we bring on um, comic book artists and writers and they can talk to us and we go through their projects and you get to interact with them it's a great thing so make sure you join us on Wednesdays and uh, um, check out down below I'll leave links for everything and then Core Draft the Reckoning is the project that uh, Andy Smith and I are working on and uh, love it if you check that one out great high fantasy barbarian badass action so check out the links below leave your comments and i look forward to talking to you all real soon thanks